Hello kids. Today, I am going to tell you another new story. And today's story is titled, The House and the Three Brothers. Long time ago, in a city called Bielispur, Uttar Pradesh lived three brothers Ronnie, Bonnie, Tony. All the three brothers didn't like each other much. They didn't like working together at all. When they were very young, their father passed away. Their mother used to do farming to run the house, and the sons helped their mother too. One day, their mother fell ill. Mother called all her sons and said to them, Children, I won't survive for too long now. All three of you are very dear to me. Before dying, I just want to see you all settled. I want, instead of living in a hut, you all have a big house of your own, where all you brothers live together in unity. Will you fulfill this wish of mine? Hearing their mother's wish they go in deep thought, because they didn't like each other. They were in a terrible dilemma. Answer my question, my children. Keeping his mother's current condition in mind, Ronnie says, Okay, mother. We will do exactly like you have said. But first, get well soon. With this response by Ronnie, mother was very satisfied. But Bonnie and Tony were not very keen about it. Outside their house, they tell Ronnie, Why did you say that to our mother? That all of us will live together. Exactly. Why to unnecessarily give her false hopes? Instead, you should have stayed silent like us. What are you guys saying? Stop stressing over it. Let our mother recover first, then we will discuss it some other time. And even I don't wish to rack my brains with you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just don't be under any misconception. I can't even think about spending the rest of my life with you two. Me neither. All three brothers pray for their mother to get well. But soon, she dies. Her death got them thinking again about what to do now. Ronnie remembers his promise to his mother and goes to his brothers and says, Brothers, I was thinking, why don't we three work together? Just like our mother wanted. Don't even think about it. I don't want to work with either of you. Mother only wanted us to be worthy and be able to get a big house for ourselves. But her last wish was that we all live under one roof with love and unity. The least we can do is try. You better forget it. This is not going to happen. Yes. Also, I don't need anyone's help to build my house. The next day, the brothers divide all their savings equally and part their ways. Now all three brothers had a challenge ahead of them to spend their savings wisely and build the house for themselves. I will build my house out of bamboo and straw. It will be very economical for me. This way, I will be able to build my house faster and with the remaining amount, I will be able to buy all the items of household necessities. Bonnie decides to build his house out of bamboo and straw. On the other hand, Tony is also planning to build a house. I will build my house out of woods. House made of wooden will stay cool and I will be able to sleep peacefully. Also with the remaining amount, I will buy some really comfortable mattresses for myself. With this thought, he went to a woodcutter and bought wood to build his house. The third brother, Ronnie, was thinking about building a strong house. He invested all his savings into buying redstone and rice flour. Then, he is left with no money to buy other necessities. But he doesn't give up and works on a farm and saves money. And after a while, Ronnie successfully gathered all the required material to build his house. He starts building his house. During this time, Bonnie and Tony had already built their houses. After some time, Ronnie's house was ready too. He was very happy. All three brothers were peacefully living in their houses. One day, a terrible thunderstorm hit their village which demolished Bonnie and Tony's respective houses. They went running to Ronnie's house and saw that his house was perfectly intact. So, how long are you guys going to stand outside in the rain and stare? Come on in. Bonnie and Tony go inside the house and they felt very ashamed of their behavior. Please forgive us, brother. 
We built our houses but forgot that it is very important to have a strong foundation. We will never forget this act of kindness of yours. No, please, don't be silly. In the time of need, one should only count on family. And you are my brothers. And our mother also wanted us to stand by each other in the hour of need. From that day on, all three brothers started living happily and working together too. So kids, from this story, we learn a lesson that every work done in a hurry yields bad result. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment. And to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.